So hello everybody. Welcome back to the React Masterclass by My Project Ideas. And today we are going to see what is a ternary operator. And we will also see how many uh, ways there are to use it and what are its use cases. Now let's just see what is a ternary operator at first. So it's just a replacement for a non-complex if else statements. Yeah, just this. So we will use the ternary operator in both uh, rendering the UI and both inside the logic. So it is such that uh, its syntax is very simple. It makes uh, if else statements to be very simple or one liner, you can say. So the Boolean condition is followed by a question mark. So first we will state the Boolean condition and then we will type the question mark and then we will write the code that will execute if the condition is true and it is it will be followed by a colon and after that the code that will execute if the condition is false simple right so the first code block will execute if the boolean condition is true and the second code block will execute if the boolean condition is false so here are the use cases for the ternary operator so it is used for rendering components or jsx based on the conditions uh, we are using it in react basically it's a javascript concept so you can also use this ternary operator for some functional logic like this for example in the jsx we are using it like this so if somebody is logged in suppose it is a boolean state if login is true then this div will render otherwise this alert component will render so the first one shows how we can render the components and jsx elements like div based on certain condition and the second one shows like uh, but uh, based on a particular condition or a boolean condition we can uh, opt out for the logic like uh, i can return this particular string otherwise this particular string so there is a special case for the ternary operator also ternary operator inside the ternary operator yes uh, we can have nested ternary operators just like the nested if and else statement suppose you implement the logic inside the if else statements then there can be nested if else statements too so it's very intuitive to use another ternary operator inside of one ternary operator so only the syntax will seem confusing or a little bit com complicated but if you practice this it will not hassle you anymore so just like the previous thing uh, it is a ternary operator uh, logic here i can say that uh, if this boolean condition is true then i can place any component or logic here and then the other cut ternary operator here in this else condition Okay, now we will see the ternary operator and its practicality. So I just uh, made this app component to be empty. And what we can do is uh, we can define a state here, which is uh, suppose like a condition, which is set condition to be a use state hook, which will be initially false, or maybe true is better now what we have to do is we just have to paste it place a dynamic code block here and we will type a condition if the condition is true then i will just uh, give like uh, a div uh, which i will assign some styles to be color of mm, green yes and okay instead of it just make it a paragraph tag it will be more simple then i will tap here like uh, the condition is true same i will copy the same thing and after a colon sorry it was the emoji after a colon i will tap the same thing but the color will be different like it will be red so the condition is false Okay, so this one is the simplest example for a ternary operator. Here we have defined the condition. 
which can be state or variable or a prop coming uh, but essentially a boolean condition and this will be uh, the first one uh, when the condition is true then this code will execute and otherwise this code will execute now let's just run our application and see okay okay as you can see the condition is true and it is in green in color because this condition is true that's why this statement is printing otherwise this so suppose i if i make it false then let then let's see what happens okay the condition is false and it is red in color as you can see so this is how a ternary operator works so suppose there is some other condition uh, suppose it will be condition to set condition to which will be equal to use state and it will be true initially so i can have another ternary operator here inside this one so just remove that and i will say condition to and if the condition to is true then i will um, have this uh, thing here copied like uh, mm, the condition is true uh, so what will be the case what will be the case for this one so the condi the condition one is false and condition two is true absolutely because otherwise it will not work similarly um, i will just copy this thing again and paste it here so what what will it now be so the condition one is false now it color being red and the condition two is also false so i just uh, type the sentences matching with that particular condition like if the condition two is true then this will happen and this whole can only happen when this condition is false so that why the first condition is false and the condition two is true then this will happen and if the first condition is false and this condition is also false then this is the last resort then this will happen now let's check what happens because uh, this one is false and this one is true then i think this thing should render up so the condition one is false and condition two is true as you can see it's simple what if the both of the condition are false okay the condition one is false and the condition two is also false as you can see so this was how we deal with the ternary operators inside the ui so you can use the ternary operator instead of if and else statements it makes you write less lines of code with the same functionality so you can also create the nested ternary operators so this is an advanced method of writing code you may confuse a lot of beginner it may confuse a lot of beginners but with the practice you will get good enough so thank you for reaching here i'm very excited to see you in the next video